the real NV87, the blind NV87, the NV87 who doesn't care what the screen looks like. Mm. It is Monday. I am... <sighs> I am not a movie person. There is only one movie I would go to the theater to see, and this is it. It's a movie in progress. My friend is making it. And I support her enough to go to her the screening for her movie. That is the only reason I'm going out on a Monday night to a theater. Seriously. It just... Uh. And we should be going by now, but my ride isn't here yet. I am not going to vlog this at all. I guess I just want to gripe and it's like, might as well vlog. Um... I love you, and I want to see this happen, and that's why I'm going to this thing tonight. If she, if I ever find out she's... I should probably go outside and wait for her, but... I wonder where they picked on Monday. Oh, well. They just did. The good news is, tomorrow, I have a ride. Pick me up at, like, 1-1. One, one. Picking me up at like 9 o'clock to take me to work. The bad news is no such luck on Wednesday. And I was going to call my door-to-door -door transit and set that up. 5.46 p.m. What notification? I suppose I still could, but... 5.47 p.m. I'm not going to. She's going to be here any minute. I... I'm going to go outside and wait for her. This is like pointless vlogging. The next thing you're going to hear is not us headed to the theater or she's calling me. Hello? Okay, be right there. I'm not taking my vlogging camera with me. Vlogging camera, MP3 recorder, same difference. I'm not taking it with me. I'm not sneaking it into the movie theater and recording something that I'm not supposed to be recording. I think some people do that, but I'm not going to do that. The next thing you hear will be maybe me saying whatever I have to say when I get home. I'm not sure I've got a Monday night routine, but if I do, this completely messes it up. <laughs> but I'm just thinking about who I'm going to support. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. I'm back. That was not as bad of an experience as I thought it would be. I actually got lucky. My relative who went to this with me. Well, first of all, the movie I was there to see was the first one on the list of seven. And I wish the other six well, but I was not interested in the other six. I got lucky because my friend's movie was the first one. And when that was over at like 7.30, I was thinking, okay, I'd be just as happy to leave now. I wonder how much longer I'm going to be stuck here. And then, right before the second one started, my relative said, well, how much more of this do you want to stay for? And I was like, actually, I would be just as happy to leave now. I mean, the reason why we are here just played. <laughs> or the reason why I'm here just played. And the second one started, and there wasn't a word of English even in it. And the audio description had ended. Uh, that's another thing about this movie that my friend's doing. They're doing audio description with it. It's a documentary about a blind man who refused to let his blindness get in his way. Um, to put it extremely mildly, to say like minimal about it. So yeah, there was audio description there and I that was great. Uh, I had never been through one of these experiences where you go to the movie theater and listen to audio description through a one earpiece little gadget. It was one earphone. It was like a hook around your ear earphone, which was interesting. I'm not going to say I've never had a device like that before, but it's kind of weird to fit that around your ear. But once it was started, I was glad that I had it and... So anyway, that was a great movie. They're off to a great start. And then 
the next one played, the next one started, and there wasn't a word of English, and of course there wasn't audio description on that one. And she's like, if you want to leave, we'll leave. <laughs> so we slipped out. Um, but that was, I'm glad that tonight worked out the way it did. Definitely glad I went to that. And I have considered and am considering having the kind of mastermind behind this, the executive producer, the main woman in charge of this on my YouTube channel to talk about it. In fact, I might just email her tonight while I'm in that frame of mind and say, hey, girlfriend, I think I've told you about my YouTube channel before. I've got a tiny-ass audience, but do you want to be on my channel and talk about this movie? <laughs> All right, I think this was a productive, like, hour and a half. I sent that email to my friend asking if she wanted to be on my channel. I edited, like, three videos. More than that, really. Four videos. I still have, like, one or two to edit, but that's enough editing for tonight. I need to, I need to work on this week's grocery list. I have not touched that grocery list. Even though this Mac acts wonky, I try to give everything its place. <laughs> This is like the max purpose here. One of these days I, I really don't need a new Mac, but if I'm gonna, I probably will end up getting one just, uh, anyway. 10 slash 28 slash 19, out of my notes, table. Verticals, October to edit text to create new folder. Edit text insertion at beginning of text body. Selection deleted, false. Selection deleted, new line, end of text, new Okay, line. what else do I want? Um. Anything else I need? Oh, God. Mm. I think I've got enough tortillas, and I can get tortillas at Walgreens. I could get them at this place too, but these people don't know how to get me the right size, so I'm just not going to mess with it anymore. My trip to Walgreens. I was planning on going to Walgreens on Thursday. I, Ideally, I would have gone yesterday, but there was just too much going on. I wanted to go on Thursday, but I vlogged earlier about my computer that I was hoping I would win. I ended up getting it at half price. Well, some questions have come up and I just want to get some guidance from the Commission for the Blind about like what to have installed and stuff. Well, first of all, the Commission for the Blind person thinks she can buy me some time to figure it out because she's like, you know, this is not the big deal you think it is. Well, I'm still going to go ahead and get this because I'm not going to be able to get it for the price that I'm getting it for now if I wait, but I want to talk to the teacher. I want to, I want to let her do like a couple of last things on this computer again to buy me more time uh, before I have to really embrace this new one, but I have to do that on Thursday. The truth is if I had to go to Walgreens on Saturday, I could do it. There's no doing anything at the Commission for the Blind on a Saturday. <laughs> So, I'm going to have to, I guess, go to Walgreens on Saturday if I want to get those deals, or Sunday if I don't. I need to watch her top deals again and see what all were the deals I wanted to get. And you can't assume they're going to be there next week. you got to grab them while they're there. Any other week, just about, Sunday would have been a good time to go. I would have liked to get this taken care of yesterday, but... I did not want to miss that live, and I mean, it was just the right thing to do to wait, so. I was hoping to go on Thursday, though, but now that's not going to happen, because by the time I get out of the Commission for the Blind. Good morning. It's way too early for me to be up. It's almost 6 o'clock in the morning, um, which isn't 
like overwhelmingly early, but when you consider the fact that I don't have to leave for work until nine, later than that, really, I believe my trip is not. Uh, I don't really have to be ready to leave until nine uh, or later. Um, I really shouldn't be awake right now, but still. I am getting this over with. I vlogged about this earlier. I was watching uh, the ABC affiliate, the local ABC affiliate, which I only watch if there's really a reason to watch. If there's a community event that that we went to the media about, and two was the one that picked it up. Ugh. Yeah, I talked about that in a previous vlog. I'm not crazy about two. Definitely not crazy about 12. I mean, I like them even less. I suppose that's not fair to the local affiliates. I dislike them because of their affiliates, their national affiliates, which national company they work with and what their affiliations are. But two was the one that picked this up, and ugh. I want to watch it, but I don't want to watch it. I'm like, let's get this over with and get this off the DVR because I need to clean out my DVR before it just automatically starts erasing things because it's like, huh, if you want me to keep recording shit, you got to make some room, and you haven't, so I'm going to make it for you. Now I'll find a way to make room. And one way to do this is to just record this already and then get it off of my DVR. Ugh, watch it, record it, get it off my DVR. <sighs> I don't know if I want to watch it, but I don't not want to watch it enough to just delete it without watching it. So I'm going to watch it and make an audio recording out of it. And so I can save the audio recording regardless of what happens to the DVR. Because the DVR recording doesn't have long to live. I'm going to get rid of that. Probably right after I watch it, unless something happens that really compels me to actually keep it on the DVR. I mean, this was the only reason I recorded this last night, so let's just get it over with. I'm not going to vlog myself watching it, but I'm going to get this over with. Why is that a problem? Well, they have their problems. I didn't realize this was one of them. After watching that report, how do I feel? Um, I feel like I don't deal with those particular issues, so I can't speak about whether or not that's really a problem or not. I mean, it's a very real problem for the people going through it. Of all their problems, I, of course, I'm one person, so the problem that they discussed doesn't affect me that much. Not to say this place doesn't have problems. I, I, yeah. I wish they would have said what other service they use. Of course, watch that be available in Oregon City and not here where I live. I guess they picked it up because they're the ones that this person contacted. But, well, if I'm being interviewed by Channel 2, you know I've contacted 2, 8, two, eight and 6. I wouldn't even call 12 if I didn't have to. When I'm contacting 12, I'm trying to tell everyone I can get on board about it. And anyone that's willing to pick it up, I'll take an interview. For example, that thing that happened in uh, October. October 15th, every year, is National White Cane Safety Day. And that the event was about National White Cane Safety Day. Um, so, I contacted all four uh, media outlets and not a single one of them picked it up. If I'm contacting all four of them, I just want anyone. I'll just take an interview from anyone. I would, if I had an issue, I would take it to six and eight. And if both of them contacted me and said, well, thank you for letting us know. We're not going to dedicate airtime to this, but thank you for letting us know about it. Then I might go to 2 and 12. Otherwise, I would stick with 6 and 8. Well, I would at least send stuff to 6 and 8. And if they never got back to me, and I just wanted somebody to pick this up, or if I wanted, again, to let anyone and everyone that would pick it up know about it, and 2 and 12 were the ones that decided to pick it up, then, oh, fine. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't express displeasure to them, but I would be reading my emails, and nothing from 6, nothing from 8. 2 says, ooh, tell me more. When can you meet with me? 12 says, ooh, I'm, we want to be all over this. Just let us know the time and the place. I'll be like, oh, fine. If you guys are the ones that care, 
I'll proceed with the interviews with you. Come on, CBS and NBC. You're my channels. Come on. I guess if 6 and 8 aren't contacted, I can't blame them for not picking it up. But when they are, why do they opt out? That door-to-door -door transit issue was about when they've got multiple people going to the same place at the same time, they send multiple vehicles to pick it up. The person who contacted the media said, why didn't they send one bus? Like they always have. Well, I'm not going to say that's not an issue, but I personally think there are worse problems than that. But I don't want to belittle their... I, I have had issues with mental health, but not the exact same as the ones that those people deal with. And I can't speak to what they go through. I am sure that's as real of a problem as it is when they can't find my workplace and I'm not on the bus yet to say, well, here's a map or a list of instructions or whatever I give to drivers that should make it easier. And I can't trust them. I mean, that's why I did what this person did. Quit using them for that purpose. They don't pick me up to take me home from work anymore. I have a situation tomorrow where there is no ride from my preferred door-to-door -door transit service. As soon as I found that out, the first thing I did was call my go-to Wednesday driver, and I got lucky. She's available. They do, however, take me into work in situations like that, and I need to call them when their reservation office opens tomorrow and say, here's what I need. What's the window you're going to give me? Okay, it's almost 9 o'clock. I sent my grocery list out. I haven't called door-to-door -door transit yet, but... I will, and uh, technically I have until 5 o'clock this afternoon to do that, but I don't want to wait because if I put it off and put it off, before I'll know it, it'll be 5.50 and all I'll be thinking is, crap, I have no choice but to get an Uber, <laughs> and I do not want to be in that situation, so... Um, Hold on a minute. What time is it? Okay. Um, where was I? What was I saying? I said last night I was going to send an email to my friend who is making the movie that I went to last night. Or I went to what there is of it. We're going to take that half an hour's worth of start of a movie and turn it into a smash. <laughs> and I had said I was going to email her and say, I've got a tiny list of subscribers, but do you want to be on my YouTube channel? She wrote back. She's like, yeah, let's figure out how to make that happen. So I wrote back to her. We haven't there's a lot of details we haven't figured out, but we will. So be on the lookout for that video. Don't know if it's going to be before or after Christmas, but or before or after the holidays, but uh, she's all for it, and I want to. I want to do it. I want to do anything I can to promote this movie. I should have gotten to know the guy when he was still alive enough to. I mean, I knew him. I knew who he was. I, you know, I talked to him, but I didn't really... I didn't really get to know him, know him, you know what I mean? But he was inspirational and he was not just because he was blind and 
did any of the normal things that everyone does, whether they can see or not. A lot of people really get pissed off when they as blind people do things that everyone else does and people say, God, that's amazing. Uh, you know, I'm kind of neutral about that. I, I'm not offended when people are inspired by me, but I, for the most part, agree with the idea that just because a person is blind shouldn't mean they can't do what they want to do. And this guy lived that to the fullest. This guy, well, you'll hear about it in the video that we do, and eventually you'll see it in the documentary when it's actually fit to be released on the big screen. But, oh, come on. There. Now I've lost my train of thought, but she's willing to be on my channel and I'd love to have her on and support this movie, so be on the lookout for that video. Whenever it is, I'm not going to link it in the description box below because I won't have posted it by the time you see this. Okay, is there anything else on that? put in this <sighs> excuse me I've got to finish getting ready for work well I'm going to close out this vlog please follow me on Twitter or if you must on Facebook check out the description below for services and petitions that I believe in and I'll see you in the next video when you hear what I have to say